Today we're talking about the hottest fall 2024 shoe trends, kicking things off with boots because let's face it, when it comes to fall and winter, boots are all that matters, right? No, I'm just kidding. It is probably one of the shoes that we're most excited to wear. At least I know that I am for sure. And one thing that we're seeing in particular with the boots is the cowboy boot has been in for a really long time. And I'm not saying it's going anywhere, but it has kind of morphed a little bit and it's definitely evolved. You're gonna see a lot more Western style boots and a little bit less of the very, very obvious cowboy boot. So what does this look like? This is like a cowboy or Western inspired like heel shape. You're also going to notice like Western details on the boots, but they're a lot more subtle than like the all out there cowboy boot that we've been seeing in seasons past. Again, if you still have cowboy boots, you can definitely wear them. I have a pair that I love and I still wear. They're really, really great for transitioning from summer to fall. And there's something that you can really wear like year round as well. If you live in a hot climate, you can start wearing them now. Like there's a lot to like about this trend. It's definitely evolving and you're going to see it in the Western inspired boot more so than a straight up cowboy boot. Another trend that has evolved that we saw a lot of maybe the past two years or so is the combat boot. I'm not saying the combat boot is like 100% done, but it's definitely on its way out and it's evolved. And instead of the combat boot, we're seeing more of the moto boot and the biker boot style. These boots tend to have a lot of buckles, a lot of bangles, a lot of like, just like a big flashy buckle really and some metal on it. Moto boot doesn't have a zipper or laces to get in and out of so that's kind of the difference. I'm kind of lumping moto and biker boots together in this trend because they're really really similar just to be honest and this is going to replace your combat boot so you'd wear it the same way. You might want to try like a satin skirt just to do something like a little unexpected or all the ways that you would wear a combat boot you would wear the moto boot instead. This isn't a trend that I'm probably going to be hopping on because buckles for me are kind of not my favorite. It's got that very like 90s vibe. You'll also see buckles in other types of shoes as well, not just the boots, but you'll see it a lot with the moto and the biker boot. The next boot trend that you're going to see a lot of is the fold over boot. Now this one is definitely very, very trend forward, but I think it's really cute and fun. Fold over boot has kind of had a moment like on and off, like we'll see it come in style, we see it go. And I think it's a lot more fashion forward and a lot more approachable than something like the moto or the buckle boot and that biker boot. Like that's a little bit harder to pull off. Whereas the fold over, I think it's a little bit more more approachable, more wearable. You'll have to let me know your thoughts on if you like this trend or not and how you think this one compares with like the moto boot and Western boots. Moving on into other shoe trends, one that has been really popular this year and isn't going anywhere anytime soon is ballet flats. Ballet flats, girl, you are in luck because there are a lot of trendy styles to choose from. Now this isn't like your round, like Tory Burch flat. Like I'm not talking that, though we are seeing the cap toe flats and like the Chanel inspired. What's really, really hot is pointy toe flats. That's definitely having a moment. Pointy toe shoes in general are having a moment, but pointy toe flats in particular. Also seeing a lot of the mesh flat or the fishnet flat, whatever you want to call it. If you like that see-through shoe, it's really, really trendy right now. Definitely having a moment. A lot of Mary Jane flats are very in style and embellished flats as well. Now, these are all trends that you're going to see in your heels too. As far as embellishments, if you love to like have your shoes look like a statement or very like blingy or accessories, then you're going to love this trend because there's studs on them. There's pearls on them. There's rhinestones on them. Like there's just like a ton of bling on the shoes right now particularly in flats, but also you'll notice it in boots and heels too. Now, if you saw my recent video on the most wearable fall 2024 fashion trends, which if you haven't yet, go watch it next after this. I'll make sure it's linked below. You'll know that denim everything is a really, really strong trend. And it's just very, very popular to have this like head to toe denim look and it's trickled into our shoes as well. You'll see denim boots, flats, heels, sandals, like literally denim everything. I don't know how wearable this trend is or how you'd even take care of these shoes but I'm just letting you know, don't shoot the messenger. You're gonna notice a lot of this. And I really saw in everything. I saw like denim golden goose sneakers and I saw denim boots, which were actually a Western inspired fold over boot with the rhinestones and they were denim. So it literally like encompassed everything on this list as far as shoe trends go. If you are a denim girly, then this one is definitely one that you will probably love. Again, I don't really know how wearable this one is, 
but denim is just really in the spotlight these days. Let's shift gears and talk about heel trends because who doesn't love a good heel trend? And this next one is one that you're gonna love or hate. I know for sure. You're gonna definitely love or hate this one and have some thoughts. And that is the platform loafers and heeled loafers in particular. So loafers, I don't feel like ever really go out of style. It's a very much a classic shoe. We see different ways to wear the loafer. This season, it's all about the chunky loafer, the platform loafer and loafer heels. And I love this one. I don't know, I think it's very preppy and fun. I particularly like it with socks and a skirt. This is definitely not for anybody. And I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like, I really hate that. You're crazy, Marlene. Like, that's not very wearable at all. But I don't know, I've always been a fan of the penny loafer. I've always been a fan of the penny loafer heel. So I think this one's really cute and it can be wearable, but if it's not your vibe, that's totally fine too. If you're looking for flat loafers, again, chunky is kind of like what's reigning supreme right now. And this just doesn't really go out of style. It is a very, very classic shoe style that changes from chunky to slim, but otherwise kind of a fall staple shoe. Speaking of fall staples, pointy toe is definitely where it's at. We've noticed it in the boots, in the heels, not sneakers, in the boots, in the heels, in the flats. Definitely look for pointy toe. I do think that this one is more sophisticated and also embraces that like ladylike elegance trend that I spoke about in last week's video on the fall trends to watch for. If you don't love a pointy toe, there's some almond toe options too, which have a little bit of a wider toe box and a little bit more comfortable. Along with that, slingbacks are also really in style. Slingbacks, again, heels with your kitten heels, with your regular heels, with your flats. Slingbacks are another one that can be a little tricky. And I do have some tips on that. If you don't love a slingback style or you feel like it's a little uncomfortable, you can use fashion tape. I've done this with heels myself, just a tiny strip of fashion tape if it's like a leather slingback that's uncomfortable. And they also have some cushions that you can put in the back of slingbacks. I'll try and find some to link down below in the description box for you. Another really popular shoe trend for this season is burgundy. And again, burgundy is basically like the color of the season. So it's no surprise to see it trickle into shoes too. Now, I really love the idea of a burgundy boot. I think it's really beautiful and you can create a beautiful like monochromatic head to toe burgundy look. That being said, definitely shop your closet first because I'm never one to suggest to anybody to buy a shoe that you can only wear in one outfit. So even though a burgundy head to toe outfit comes to mind, like you can only really wear that once, right? Like you need to be able to get something a little bit more versatile and get some more mileage out of it. So make sure that you have things in your wardrobe that are going to work with the burgundy shoe before maybe going that direction. Another really popular shoe color is brown. Chocolate brown has been in for a while. And it's really strong for fall. Personally, between the two, the chocolate brown, you're probably gonna get a little bit more mileage out of. It's just obviously a little more of a neutral than the burgundy, but the burgundy is trend forward and fun. So by all means, like take your pick. We also saw that animal print was really, really popular for fall fashion trends. The shoe world, we're seeing it in snakeskin. And that's one that I've always also really loved for some reason, snakeskin boots I think are fun. Snakeskin can act as a neutral, believe it or not. Even though it's a print, you can pick out your colors and pick out your outfits that kind of go with the color in the snake print. I think this one is really fun. We've seen this one go in and out of style over the years, so it's kind of interesting to see it back again this season. I don't wanna leave out sneakers when it comes to shoe trends. And even though I've talked about this a little bit in my previous videos, if you've never seen one of my videos before, then you know sneakers are definitely evolving for this season. And in particular, we're seeing a lot less of the all white sneaker, we're seeing a lot less of the dad sneakers. Thank you, I am so grateful for that. And instead we're seeing a lot more retro styles. That's the Stambas, that's like this sleek, slim silhouette. And colorful sneakers with that too. So really bold, crazy standout sneakers, greens, browns, pinks, reds, these color block styles is definitely having a moment. This is great for your casual wear. If you like a statement shoe, if you just want like an unexpected je ne sais quoi, then you might like a colorful sneaker. If that's not your vibe, that's fine too. There's plenty of neutrals. Like I said, like the Sambas are very, very in, but just overall, it's like this retro slim sneaker that's more having a moment, more so than the chunky, more so than the golden goose, and more so than like the plain all white sneaker. I almost didn't include these shoe trends, 
because I don't feel like they're the most wearable on this list, but they are just shoe trends to note. And one of them is this like fuzzy shoe trend, which is wildly impractical. Fuzzy shoes are having a moment they have furs, they have Sherpa, they have faux fur. This is also very, very trendy, but it's not practical in any way. I mean, I can't imagine what you would do if you're wearing like furry or feathery or whatever shoes outside and it's like raining or snowing or something. But anyways, I'm just letting you know that they are definitely in if you like a shoe like this. I like them for around the house. You know, they're real cute for like wearing at home and my slippers, but um, you know, I can't say the same for like wearing them outside of the house. Another shoe trend that I haven't seen mentioned as often, but is slowly creeping back in is thigh high boots and specifically like upper thigh, really, really, really high pretty woman style boots. These are also having a moment. They're not necessarily the most practical, which is again why I didn't include it earlier on my list, but just to let you know that it's there. And if you like to wear like those micro mini skirts or those little dresses, then you might really like this trend as well. If you love trends, I have a whole playlist on what's in, what's out, and basically like the hottest trends of the season. So I'm gonna go ahead and see you over there. But before you go, let me know, what shoe trend did you love most from this list? Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.